Hey, brother. Okay, Jay, so a little while back, we did the Over the Edge fundraiser project for Big Brothers Big Sisters, where we raised $2,000 in order to rappel down the side of a building. For charity, we offered a variety of perks for people that were willing to donate to our cause, one of which was selecting a video topic. So, Jacob Golden, we are finally coming through on our promise. Today, we are talking about motivation. <laughs> I want to define motivation the way that I see it at least because to me motivation requires some type of betterment of your life. For example, you cannot exactly consider yourself highly motivated to watch Netflix. However, you can be highly motivated to work overtime, exercise, make videos on YouTube. Second, and I spent all week thinking about this, but pinpointing exactly what is actually motivating you. Because there are always obvious things, obvious reasons that you can assume that somebody is motivated to do something. You work for an income. That income can be perceived as your motivation as to why you work. Except not for everyone, because while income is essential, it is not the driving factor that gets me out of bed every morning. Jay, when we started Super Carlin Brothers, I was motivated by a few different factors, but most importantly was it was something that I could do with you. Plain and simple. It was a way to hang out with my brother. But I was also enticed by the challenge. I was going to be stepping way outside of my comfort zone making these videos, and it was committing to a project that was a year long. And finally, I saw video production in general as a skill that I thought would be or could be highly useful for me. And Jay, after we worked on this project for a long time, my motivational forces began to drop. It was a ton of work. I was very happy with the success of the channel. It was just really difficult to justify the time commitment. And being your roommate, I found that there were plenty of other ways to spend time hanging out with you. Shockingly. I felt like I had developed a basic understanding of how to shoot, write, produce, edit videos, or at least enough to where I could use the skill in the future if I ever needed to. So out of my original motivating factors, all that was really left was the challenge, completing the year-long conversation. Although a new force did start to grow, Jay, as time went on and I was just getting more and more run down, and that was simply not letting you down. Because those of you who can't tell, Jay's dream is to be able to do YouTube full-time as his career. But I was hanging on for dear life. Because keep in mind, back then we were making two or three videos a week depending on the week. At that point, we had not discussed what we were going to do at the end of the first year, after we completed the year-long conversation between brothers. I didn't know how I was going to tell you. I was going through my first year of growing the business, which by itself is incredibly stressful and time consuming. I don't think it was until the last week of the first year that we finally decided that after a two week break, we were going to do one video each a week. And Jay, we kept going for over two years now. This is video number 382. And man, am I glad I hung on. This channel, is doing awesome. And Jay, now I am motivated by things like how far can we take this? Can this actually become a possible career? How can we keep the viewers happy and entertained? How can we continue to grow an audience? How can we help the world? And Jay, I just have to thank you for being such a great brother that I couldn't quit on you. Because if you sucked, I would have. And for my question of the day, does a person's motivation for why they do what they do matter? If a person is highly charitable, but it's because they want to be perceived as a giving and helpful person, a selfishly selfless person, let's call it, is there a problem with that? For me, I don't care what motivates me. I know that I won't always be motivated by the right thing, 
I think motivation is a powerful, natural compulsion to act. I think if you can pinpoint what motivates you, whether it's a good reason or not, that is a powerful force, a great tool in this world. And Jay, that is everything that I've got for you today. Thank you, Jacob Golden, for the topic and, of course, your continued support of this channel. I'll see you guys on Tuesday.